Okay, I'm going to show you how to model a hose in Modo and I'll use a curve and extrude a um, a disk along that. Uh, well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first of all, make a curve, slightly bend it and make sure it's bended in a few more than just one axis. Uh, try to make the bends not too sharp. Okay, so like this. Okay, I'm going to add a new item here. Um, oh well. <laughs> Call that my curve. and make that curve again because uh, I somehow forgot to uh, accept the values and drop the tool. So just go here, make a new curve. Oh well. Okay. Drop the tool, not forget. <laughs> And then make a new mesh and call that hose. So I'm going to use the curve in the background to um, extrude a face of this disk along that. So I'm going to bring up the cylinder tool, hit control, and scale it up there. Uh, I think the radius sh should be something like well this. Okay. So now I'm going to select the front polygon or this face of that cylinder here. Uh, in the invert the selection and delete the rest. So I'm left with uh, only this face here. I'm going to hide my grid and work plane and I'm going to show my selection normals because I need this as a visual guide for uh, aligning it to the curve. Um, bring up the transform tool and make sure snapping is set to on and Go ahead, set the snapping mode to geometry and yeah, vertex and both layers. It should use vertex as mode and both layers, and that's okay. So I'm going to snap that disk here to my background curve, switch to the top view, and rotate the polygon here so that it's normal aligns to the curve. So I'm going to switch to front mode as well and rotate that a bit and I think the rest can be easily achieved in perspective mode. So like this. Okay. Um, now this face is normal is pointing right into the direction of the curve so it's quite easy to extrude it along there and yeah okay I'm going to do that right now um, click on the dupl duplicate tab here and choose curve extrude and there will be a panel this one here with a few settings so um, First of all, I just click in the viewport to activate that tool. So it projects the curve along, uh, or it, it uh, extrudes the face along this curve. And you can um, change the steps here, and you can um, even out the, the spaces between the, the single steps by 
I'm checking the by length option. So I'm going to increase this here. Uh, I think we need something really high, something like 150 or or even more. 200. Well, let's let's go ahead with 300 faces. So, okay. Drop the tool and delete the starting face. We won't need that anymore. So I'm left with the tube now. I can easily switch to sub D mode here. And what we need to do for this to look like a hose, um, we need to bevel in the edges. So I'm going to select all the edges and use the up arrow key to um, to select more edges. Uh, just press it down for a little while and see where it goes. takes a while. It's a long hose. <laughs> okay, so we just reached the end. And now you can either hit L to select the edge loop. So each edge around here is um, selected and now hit B and make sure that the round level is set to zero and then go ahead and make a slight inset like this okay press spacebar to drop the tool and go to uh, polygon selection so now I'm going to do exactly the same select a few polygons Hit the up arrow. Uh, and go ahead, wait until it finally has reached the end. I'll make sure that you that you actually see it reaching the end. takes a while again du, 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 du. okay so these are my first few polygons and then I do exactly the same with the second row and it will again take a while until Modo selected all of these right to the end here I'm still trying to select yeah okay and now you can again hit the L tool uh, the L key to select the loop these polygons and this is something I find nice because uh, Modo just figured out okay Zeller wants to have all the loops here selected and, and nothing like uh, along the tube so uh, this is quite nice uh, bring up the bevel tool again and um, make a slight negative shift like this and yeah and you're done looks like quite a nice hose pretty 